catch her jaw for the Jew for Jew. Give her the sheets and let her go with the boys that can see it through. Can't you hear us howl in the wind is blowing free? In the 1820s, folks around New York said that what was needed to increase prosperity was a waterway from the Hudson River clear across the state to Lake Erie. The Grand Old Canal took a lot of building, 364 miles of digging. It had to be 40 feet wide and 4 feet deep. Aqueducts had to be constructed to carry the canal over rivers like the Mohawk and the Genesee. And finally, great five-ton barges had to be built. We'll build her neat to 50 feet with a beam that's eight foot wide. We'll saw the line of oak and pine and then we'll trim her clean outside. We'll lay the caulking in her seams, make sure it sets just right. And then we'll pound it neatly down to keep her dry and tight. From stern to stem and back again, our mallets make their ways. The cock in iron inside we poke, we come down with a hammer stroke. Waterproof the pine and oak on the Erie Canal. The tar runs down in ebon streams to harden up in closer seams. Dab some paint upon her beams on the Erie Canal. We've got the crew to dig her through the soil of dirt and stone. From Buffalo to Utica, from Utica to Rome. Through mud at Lake Cayuga, through rock at Little Falls. We'll dig a sweep that's four foot deep and shore her up with walls. And it's digger, bigger, shovel her through the lakes. Spite of the stones, the aching bones, malaria and the shakes. The country's moving westward and westward we will go. From Albany to Syracuse and on to Buffalo. By the late summer of 1825, the Erie Canal was opened for traffic. At long last, the waters from Lake Erie flooded in. The great moment had come. Governor Clinton and his official party embarked at Buffalo on the Seneca Chief and were away to Albany, then down the Hudson to the port of New York. Bugles blared, drums rolled, cannons boomed, crowds cheered as casks of water from Lake Erie were poured into the ocean. A marriage of the waters, this was called and a bright new era in American history began. The cannons did roar and the bands they did play. Month of October, the 26th day, Governor Clinton was along for the ride, and the Erie Canal was his joy and his pride. You may talk of your pleasure trips on the Great Lakes, but a trip on canal boats, you bet, takes the cakes. Whatever you do, be sure don't forget, tap the mules gently while the cook is on deck. Cook, she's a daisy, she's dead gone on me. Got fiery red hair and she's sweet 23. The captain, the bowman, the drivers, yes, all. Just one look upon her and backward they'll fall. So haul in the bowling and take up the slack. Take a reef in your shirt tail and straighten your back. She's so fond of biscuits, she's a dumpling, a pet. We use her for a headlight at night on the deck. Her mind, it is gone for she gave it away. Oh, how many pieces she gave me each day. She sure had an answer for all that was said. And if you would cross her, she'd raise up the dead. <laughs> At twelve o'clock, we reach the dock and pull her through the gate. We swing her clothes behind us and we get aboard to wait. Get aboard to wait. Water comes 
rushing in to raise us up on high. So when our height is certain right, we'll just go floating by, just go floating by. And the eye is arising, we come up from below. Open up the gates, my boys, we're off to Buffalo, off to Buffalo. I've got me a mule and her name is Sal Fifteen years on the Erie Canal She's a good old partner, she's a grand old gal Fifteen years on the Erie Canal We've hauled some barges in our day Loaded up with lumber, coal and hay And she knows every inch of the way From Albany to Buffalo Low bridge, everybody down It's a low bridge For we're coming to a town You'll always know your neighbor And you'll always know your pal if you ever navigate it on the right canal. I've traveled all around the state in Tonawanda too. I've climbed a lot of mess of hills and aqueducts a few. I never seen a grander sight, and hardly think I will, than the stairway up to Lockport, where the barges float off hill. Brown's Hotel, a famous landmark at Lockport. The sign read, Accommodations for man and beast. One shilling for any part of a bed. When traffic was heaviest, there were four to a bed. Sixpence for standees. Whenever the canal boat made port, the fellow who drove the mules, the huggy, would go looking for relaxation. After a couple of hours, Someone would have to go looking for the huggy in the nearest waterfront inn. You could hear him a mile away. He'd be shouting, My father can lick any man in this room, and I can lick my father. And if that don't cause trouble, I can run faster, jump higher, dive deeper, and come up drier than any man on the canal. <laughs> My meals with Sal each day Fifteen years on the Erie Canal She eats the meat, so I eat the hay Fifteen years on the Erie Canal She's a good old mule, though she's getting old Her back is black, but her heart is gold and she isn't so slow, if you really want to know. She put the up in Buffalo. 